Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. How are you, everyone? I miss every one of you. I hope that you are enjoying your time and you are having a good time with, and that you are having a good time with your family. Uh, today's lesson is bizarre creatures from the deep sea. Bizarre creatures. Creatures. It means living things, right? Makhlukat. Bizarre. It's a new word, and it means. very weird or very strange unusual يعني مخلوقات غريبة أو عجيبة from the deep sea from the deep sea it means that they live excellent they, they live at the bottom of the sea so let's look at some pictures these are some creatures that live at, at the bottom of the sea that we cannot see at the surface they, they live at the deep sea بيعيشوا في أعماق البحر and they are exotic uh, we don't usually see them uh, but they but they do exist and they are really really bizarre and this is another picture for some creatures that live at the bottom of the sea here uh, this is a creature mentioned in the text that we will be uh, discussing inshallah later So it uh, the the its name is vampire squid. Squid means habbar. And uh, sea pens, sea pens. Uh, this is another creatures that live at the floor of the sea. يعني بيعيش على أرض البحر. بأعماق أرض البحر. And they look like the the pen like. Depend. Okay, and uh, you don't have to memorize them. These are just the name or some types of some creatures that live at the bottom of the sea. And here are some vocabulary that are mentioned in the text that we will be discussing. The first one is bizarre. We said the meaning of it is very strange or unusual. In Arabic, it means غريب. And number two, these are just the names or the types of some creatures mentioned in the text. So, uh, the names are sea pens, yeti crab, red-lipped batfish, and blobfish. The third one is abominable. It means very bad or awful. Abominable, abominable. Very bad or awful. It means in Arabic, fadir. Fluffy. It means soft and like fur. In Arabic, it means something that is like. بالعربي بنحكي ريشي أو زغبي. إله هيك زي الريش. Fins, a part of the fish that helps it balance. So the fish has fins. It has عانف. بتساعدها على التوازن والحركة. The last one is habitat. It means a, bla- a place where animals live. A place where animals or plants live. Now we will listen to the track. Let's listen to it. Bizarre creatures found under the sea. Which is your favorite? Why? Bizarre creatures from the deep sea. It's tough to choose the most unusual creatures living deep under the sea. There are so many interesting animals, from vampire squid to sea pens. Curious yet? You can always go online to learn about these amazing animals. In the meantime, here are three of the seafloor's stranger creatures we'd like you to meet. Yeti crab. There are several species of kiwa or yeti crab living in the deepest parts of the southern Pacific Ocean and in the area near Antarctica. These crabs live in complete darkness at around 2,600 meters, 8,500 feet, below the surface. But lack of light is not a problem for this species. It's blind. Though yeti crabs live near warm water sources, females go into the colder waters to lay eggs. It's a good thing they've got fur to keep them warm. Yes, you read that right. Similar to the character it's named after, yeti or the abominable snowman, the yeti crab has got fluffy white fur covering its claws and legs. What's more amazing is that these furry claws attract bacteria that the crab then collects and eats. 
In other words, it farms its own food right on its body. What a way to feed yourself. Red-lipped batfish. The red-lipped batfish lives on the ocean floor near the Galapagos Islands. This fish's bright red lips make it look as though it's wearing lipstick. But that's not the only strange thing about it. Another is that it's not a very good swimmer. In fact, it uses its fins as feet and walks on them across the ocean floor. The batfish also has an unusual horn on its head that it uses to attract prey to its mouth, like a built-in fishing rod. Blobfish. The blobfish was named the world's ugliest animal at one point, but that's not a very fair title. You see, the blobfish loses its shape when it's out of water because it hasn't got a muscular system. But when the fish is in its habitat, a high pressure area off the coast of Australia that's 600 to 1,200 meters, 2,000 to 4,000 feet deep, the water keeps it in shape. At home, the... So, let's now explain the text. Uh, let's start. Bizarre creatures from the deep sea. It's tough to choose the most unusual creatures living deep under the sea. إنه كتير إشي صعب إنه إحنا نختار أكثر المخلوقات الغريبة اللي بتعيش في أعماق المحيط لأنهم كتار. There are so many interesting animals from vampire squid to sea bands. إنه بحكي في كتير مخلوقات غريبة. فابتداء من الفامبير سكويد اللي هو الحبار زي كأنه مصاص دماء أو ما بعرف شو تو سي بانز اللي هو اسم مخلوق اسمه سي بانز شكله مثل الألم كيوريوس يات كيوريوس معناها عندك فضول Uh, you can always go online to learn about these amazing animals. You can يعني, go online and check about these amazing animals. In the meantime, في الوقت الحالي, here are three of the seafloor stranger creatures we would like you to meet. إنه هلا في عنا ثلاث مخلوقات بيعيشوا على أرض المحيطات. خلينا نتعلم عنهم شوي. The first one is Yeti crab. Yeti crab. There are several species of kewa or yeti crab living in the deepest parts of the th southern Pacific Ocean. يعني في كتير um, uh, there are several species of kewa في كتير uh, من um, في كتير أعداد من مخلوق ال الكوا اسمه كوا أو yeti a crab اللي هو زي سلطعون ال اليتي أو ال أو الكوا living in the deepest part بيعيشوا في أعمق النقاط في المحيط الهادي الجنوبي and in that in the area near Antarctica or Antarctica أو بيعيشوا في مناطق قريبة من أنتاركتيكا these crabs live in complete darkness بيعيشوا في أماكن كتير مظلمة at around 2006 meters below the surface يعني بعيشوا uh, 2600 متر تحت مستوى سطح البحر but lack of light is not a problem for this species انه uh, نقص الضوء او الاماكن المظلمة مش اشي او مش مشكلة بالنسبة لهذا المخلوق species مع انها نهايتها جمع بس معناها نوع معناها نوع It's blind. إنه هذا المخلوق ما عنده مشكلة بالعتبة لأنه أصلاً أعمى. The yeti crabs live near warm water sources. مع إنه the yeti crab بيعيش في مصادر المياه الدافئة. Females go into the colder waters to lay eggs. بروحوا الإناث من هذه السلطعون بروحوا على المياه الباردة عشان تخبي البيوض فيها. عشان تخبي البيوت فيها. It's a good thing they have got fur to keep them warm. So هلا احنا عرفنا ايش جديد عنها ان هم عندهم فرو على جسمهم عشان to keep them warm عشان يضلوا دافين او يحسوا بالدفى. Yes, you read that right. Similar to the character it's named after. هلا انه معنى هاي الجملة انه اليتي كراب سموه Uh, سموه زي كأنه معناها هنا uh, It's named after Yeti 
في مخلوق اسمه اليتي or the abominable snowman زي انه رجل التلج الغريب او الفظيع the yeti crab has got fluffy white fur covering its claws and legs هذا الاشي اللي احنا بدنا نعرفه انه اليتي كراب عنده فلافي uh, او وايت فير يعني عنده فرو ابيض بغطي مخالبه ورجليه طب شو فايدتهم what's more amazing is that these furry clothes هدول المخالب المكسوه بالفراء attract bacteria that the crab then collects and eats هاي مهمه انه بيستخدموا هاد الفرو اللي على جسمهم عشان تجذب البكتيريا عشان تجمعهم وتكلهم In other words, it farms its own food right on its body. في معنى آخر زي كأنها بتزرع أكلها على جسمها عشان تأكله. And this is all about yeti crab. To sum it up, the yeti crab lives at or in the deepest parts of the Pacific Ocean. And they live near warm water sources. The female go to the colder waters to lay eggs and they the, the yeti crabs have uh, white fur or they are fluffy uh, and uh, the furry clothes uh, the furry clothes and legs um, uh, uh, this is uh, something very amazing about them because they use these furry clothes to attract bacteria to feed on them now let's go to the second creature which is red lipped bad fish من الاسم red lipped هلا لما يكون في عندنا صفه زي يعني ذات ذات الشفاه الحمراء بنحط هنا لب هي لب معناها شفاء لما بدنا نخليها صفه ونخليهم بجمله واحده بنحط هايفن بينهم red lipped وبنحط ايدي هون بتصير red lipped يعني ذات الشفاه الحمراء bad fish سمكه ذات الشفاه الحمراء let's read about it The red-lipped batfish lives on the ocean floor near the Galapagos Islands. إنه هذه السمكة ذات الشفاه الحمراء بتعيش على أرضية المحيط near the Galapagos Islands بالقرب من جزر الجالاباجوس. This fish, this fish's bright red lips make it look as though it's wearing lipstick. إنه لون شفا شفاها اللامع او او الفاتح احمر الشفاه بخليها كانها حاطه احمر شفاه but this is not the only strange thing about it another is that it's not a very good swimmer يعني اذا انا جبت لك بالامتحان mention three strange things about the red lipped bat fish ايش عندنا اغرب ثلاث شغلات بهاي السمكه تقدر تحكي لي This fish's bright lips make it look as though it's wearing lipstick هاي واحد The second thing is that it's not a very good swimmer يعني هي مش سباحة ماهرة Because it uses بتكملها it uses its fins as feet بتستخدم fins حكينا معناها زعانة في الهم هون as feet هذا number two and walks on them across the ocean floor يعني تستخدم زعنفها مثل أقدام عشان تمشي عليهم and في كمان شغلة it has an unusual horn on its head عندها قرن على رأسها it uses to attract prey to its mouth تستعملها عشان تجذب الفريسة prey معناها فريسة لفمها like a built-in fishing rod كأنه عندها سنارة بجسمها this is all about the red fish The last one is the blobfish. The blobfish. Let's read about it. The blobfish was named the world's ugliest animal. The world's ugliest animal. At one point, but that's not a very fair title. إنه هذا مش لقب عادل إلها. ليش? The blobfish. هلا لما أجيب لك أنا إنه بالامتحان why they called ليش سموها the ugliest animal? ليش سموها أبشع أو أقبح مخلوق? اللي هي the worst ugliest animal why لانه نحكي 
The blood fish had the job because the blood fish loses its shape when it's out of water because it hasn't got a muscular system. إنه هي the blood fish بتفقد شكلها لما بنخرجها أو بتطلع من المية because it hasn't got a muscular system. لإنه هي ما عندها ما عندها زينا عضلات أو ما عندها عضلات إن هي تقدر تحافظ على شكلها. أو بقدر أجيب لك سؤال تاني إنه هي ليش بتفقد why uh, why does the blobfish lose its shape when it's out of water ليش بتفقد شكلها لما بتطلع من المي الجواب because it has got a, because it hasn't got a muscular system but when the batfish is in its habitat لما بتكون بموطنها a higher pressure area of the coast of Australia that is 600 to 1200 meters deep لما هي بتكون في موطنها موطنها اللي هو بيكون فيه ضغط عالي اللي هو من 600 متر ل 1200 متر بيكون تحت المستوى سطح البحر the water keeps it in shape المي هو السبب بهذا العمق بخليها بتحافظ على شكلها So at home the plop fish looks more like any other fish يعني لما بتكون بموطنها بيكون شكلها زي أي سمكة بس لما بتطلع من المية شكلها بتغير لأنها ما عندها عضلات This is all about these three creatures All you have to do is to reread the text So that you can answer the worksheet that I will send, uh, that I will send you رح ابعث لكم ان شاء الله ورقة عمل كل اللي عليك انك تقرا النص وتركز فيه عشان تعرف تجاوب على هاي الاسئله. Now uh, I here I, I put here some photos to have a closer look at them. This is the eater crab and as you can see here uh, it's fluffy or it has fur on its claws عندها فرو على مخاربها واقدامها. So it used It uses this fur to attract what bacteria so that it can feed on So it uses its uh, fur or the fur uh, on its body to collect bacteria. Now we have the red lipped bat fish, the fish that has what red lips, um, and we said that uh, it has a, a, a horn on its head, but here it's not clear. And ha, they قرن على رأسها so that it attracts prey to its mouth. And this is the last one, the plop fish. And as you can see here, it looks ugly because it's out of water. But when it's back to water, it has its shape and it looks like any other fish. Here we have uh, this question. It's in your student book on page 100. All you have to do is to decide the name of the creature. Here we have the abbreviation for each creature. Hadol اختصارات للاسم. YC اللي هي يتي كراب uh, RP اللي هي Red Lipped Bat Fish وال B اللي هي اختصار لل Plop Fish All you have to do is to decide uh, uh, to decide the name of each creature next to each sentence The first one has got fur on its clothes مين اللي عنده fur on its clothes على مخالبه Two uses its fins as feet as feet sorry استخدم زعانف مثل أقدام. Three changes shape changes shape when it's out of its habitat. بتغير شكلها لما بتطلع من موطنها. Four look as though it's got lipstick on. شكلها كأنها حاطة لبستيك. Five has been called the world's ugliest animal. مين اللي سمى أبشع أو أقبح مخلوق. Number six cannot see. مين اللي كريتشر اللي ما بيقدر يشوف. So you write you see. Uh, YC sorry or RB or B and this this is all for today inshallah we will have another two classes on Monday and Tuesday and on Wednesday you will have inshallah a revision and I will send you two tracks for your listening exam uh, the transcript also will be sent to you and the questions the number of pages راح أشتري لكم الله نصين استماع النصوص والصوت 
تبع نص الاستماع والأسئلة يعني رقم الصفحة وشو رقم السؤال بالضبط عشان تدرسوهم لأنه حيكون في عنا فاينل لسنينج رح يكون عنا امتحان نهائي استماع احنا بنخبركم امتى وامتى الموعد كل اللي عليك تستمع للصوت وتتبع النص اللي رح ابعت لك اياه وتحل السؤال عشان تكون جاهز للامتحان and good luck thank you very much for watching and listening goodbye